Thatcher Research and the UK insurers passionately believe in the safe adoption of automated driving technology because we believe it will lead to safer roads. However, we have some serious safety concerns over the UK government's planned introduction of automated driving on motorways in early 2021 through the use of automated lane keeping systems. This will be the first time a motorist can legally watch television or respond to emails while the car takes over responsibility for driving. They will be totally disengaged and merely a passenger. In 2019, we worked with the UK insurers to identify and publish 12 key principles that must be met to ensure the safe adoption of automated driving. Automated lane keeping systems only satisfy two of these 12 principles. For a car to be regarded as automated, it must be at least as competent as an engaged human driver. But there are several scenarios where these cars can't do that. Automated driving will be based on the assisted technology we already have. These two vehicles feature the best assisted systems on the market. Today, the driver must be engaged with these. But in 2021, the driver can disengage and watch television. To illustrate our safety concerns, if there was debris on the road, for example, a bumper cover, an automated lane keeping system may not see it and will continue in lane at its set speed. The regulations will not allow lane changes. An attentive driver, however, should recognise the hazard and attempt to move around it by safely changing lanes. Good drivers anticipate hazards to stay safe, as shown here, where a pedestrian is walking round the front of their broken down vehicle. An engaged driver would either slow to a safe speed or be able to swerve out of lane to avoid conflict. But an automated lane keeping system won't be allowed to do this. Again, it will simply continue in its lane towards the pedestrian hazard. At motorway speeds, it's often impossible to stop in time to avoid a serious collision. Closed lanes are marked with a red X on UK motorways but an automated lane keeping system may not see it and recognise the hazard. Finally, if the driver fails to re-engage, the autonomous vehicle can only stop in lane, which is even more dangerous. Our warning is that this automated driving technology is not mature and can't be relied upon to keep the driver safe. It should be regarded as assisted driving technology because it always relies on a driver to take back control. As it stands, the proposed UK government's timeline for the introduction of automated driving technology must be revised. It's simply not safe, and its introduction will put UK drivers' lives at risk.